Gemini, welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general reading for the sign of Gemini, wherever that re resonates at in your chart. Keep in mind the energy is fluid, the roles can be reversed, so take what you need, leave the rest for someone else. Um, meditating on your guys' energy, I was getting sort of a lot, um, and also pulling your guys' oracle cards here <clears throat> before the reading a lot it, it was it's kind of all over the place so I'm noticing a few things here I'm noticing that uh, we've got the number eight nine ten here um, sort of like taking steps crossing into this new energy here um, I'm seeing some sort of new opportunity I'm also seeing a, a major healing of the heart chakra here and we will read this before we cut out um, I'm also getting a message about self-care right now right also fasting if you guys um, if you guys fast fasting will be very beneficial for you right now sort of detoxing your mind body and spirit um, I feel like you guys are sort of going through a big change here um, so we'll get into the tarot and see what comes out mother father divine Holy Spirit Guardian Angels, can we please get a message for my Geminis for their highest good to help them step into alignment on their soul's journey? What do we have in the recent past for my Geminis, please? Spirit. Wow, so yeah, definitely big change here maybe um having a hard time letting something go we've got this death card which is the transformation in this um star child tarot and if you notice this like light at the end of the tongue right here um i do feel like you are sort of <clears throat> and some of my gemini's might even by now be sort of through this energy um but it looks like some sort of action. I'm actually seeing some like a big shake up here, Gemini. I'm seeing things were feeling super uh, imbalanced and you sort of made the decision to focus on yourself and move forward. Like really just focus on yourself, focus on your healing, focus on your growth. Um also, I feel like you're sort of thinking about leaving some things behind that are sort of making this a little bit heavy. Yeah, look, as soon as I'm saying that, this is the only card flipped in the deck, and we've got the tower wanting to show itself, right? So definitely thinking about leaving something behind or something coming down. We're going to look into your current energy. Gemini, this is pretty heavy. This is actually really heavy. Um, this is an opportunity, though, to really step into some sort of self-care here, right? And really take back control. We've got the Emperor on the bottom of the deck here. So I see you sort of stepping into this opportunity, right? And taking back control of the situation with the Empress. Um, clarification on this Ace of Crystals, please, Spirit. So it's an opportunity to remove some blockages, to make a decision here, right? And this is in, in, in love or in some sort of connection for some of you, Gemini. Um, so I see you sort of following your intuition right now. And deciding to take the action that you're guided to take here. For some of you, I feel like you're possibly ending this cycle. What do we have coming in for my Gemini? So I'm definitely seeing some reflection here and really um, what I see you reflecting on is sort of how you can gain control of this situation here 
what would be the best decision to make. I really see you going deep for this. I see you going deep into your mind and I also see you going deep into your heart space here. Gemini, um, this is contemplation over some sort of betrayal here. For some of you, this could be in like a marriage or, or even like a business partnership where you're tied to this person financially somehow. And then on the bottom of the deck, we've got the Eight of Cups in this Awakening card, right? So really awakening to these things that um, you need to walk away from or really realizing the truth about some situations and the eight of cups represents situations you know where you've got a lot invested into these situations time love money energy right and this eight of cups represents really walking away from these things so that way your energy is free and clear so you can receive the blessings that you're trying to manifest here and i see you gaining this clarity gemini And I see you sort of letting your higher guidance take the wheel here. Also, I'm getting a message about um, getting enough rest and staying hydrated, right? Um, listening to your to your higher guidance. This is some sort of soul level up. This is this is some sort of karmic situation, right? trying to be worked through trying to be cleared so that way you can manifest this look as soon as i say that we've got the sun and then this ten of pentacles so this is manifesting your your dream life you know your soulmate your dream job your dream house dream relationship with the lovers right and i do see a big change coming in for you gemini so let's grab some advice This message seems fairly specific. I hope it resonates. What's the advice for my Geminis? Yeah, the world, the queen of swords, you guys. This is really the moon. So this is snapping out of an illusion or delusion. I'm even hearing this queen of swords is really making tough decisions, making these decisions that you're really being guided to make. So this is nothing new that I'm telling you or anything. You know this, Gemini. There's some sort of decision that you're being guided to make on ending this cycle here. Right? And I feel like it's causing you a lot of conflict. I feel like it's causing you a lot of pain, a lot of sadness. It's definitely lowering your vibration here. Um, and the message here is to take action. And, you know, I, I just seen 818 as well on the camera you guys i connect to only angelic frequencies and i i connect so i can bring you guys messages to help step into alignment um to help confirm things that you know that you might be questioning um to help empower you but ultimately to get you one step closer to connecting with your own divinity and a lot of times um, spirit is trying to guide us away from certain situations so that we can sort of level up and so that our our energy can sort of clear up for the things that we really want and things that we really need. Um, but this is really a matter of, of learning these lessons and cutting these energetic cords, you know, in order to move from here to here. Um, any energetic cords that are connected to her are going to hold her back, right? So this is about cutting those cords and taking this leap, Gemini. And with this Queen of Wands, this is taking this action, taking risks. This is taking, you know, following your spirit guides and your higher guidance here. And then we've got the Knight of Wands as well. So this is like fast action um, and really doing something to move out of this this energy here and after shuffling the six of swords still wants to show itself with this high priestess 
for some of you, you could have a children, a child or children with this person, or you could even, this person could be a family member or something like that, right? And I've been getting this message for the past, I feel like, couple weeks, Gemini, right? Any more advice for my Geminis? King of Wands, definitely just take it, take this action. Um, I'm going to check into some romance angels, see what's going on in your heart space, and then we will look into these shamans' dream. I, I just saw separation fell out. What do we have for my Gemini spirit? Separation, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, finances and career are affecting your love life right now. And then look at you guys, I can't. We've got that separation card really wanting to make itself known. Let go of control issues and then sure as shit that um, children are affecting your love life as well. So for whoever I'm connecting to, like I said, this is a fairly specific message. And if you do want to book a personal with me, that information will be in the description box below. Because it's looking like somebody's really needing some direction here. Um, Spirit is saying very soon decide what it is that you want so that it can manifest so that it can come to fruition and this is reminding me of one of the last readings where Spirit was saying something about you know staying in this staying in your karmic life or stepping into your path of destiny and I'm getting like that same feeling here from this right that that some move needs to be made for you to get out of this stagnation for you to get out of this cycle um i just got this kali oracle so we're going to look into a couple of these as well what do we have for my gemini please spirit <clears throat> i'm just going to take that one that fell and then that was too many can i get one or two more So we've got Mahakali, <clears throat> and this says, you can trust that what is happening now will give you a way to new expression when the time is right. That time will be the best time. Oh, the right time will be the best time. When your readiness matches the requirements for success, attend to your work with determination and hope in your heart. Trust that the divine is taking care of everything else. Your progress is spiritually protected. Then we've got this Dakshina Kali here. And this one says, She appears fierce and yet she is benign. Her oracle brings the message that a situation which may frighten or intimidate you is well within your capacity to handle. No matter how dramatic or intense a situation may appear to be at this time, it shall eventually be a little more than a passing memory and not have any negative bearing upon your future. And then we've all also got this Kalika Tantrika. And this says, um, Kali overcomes karma, realigns us with our path when we have veered off course, reversed reverses the momentum of negativity and detaches draining energy cords, restoring us to full vitality. It may seem like your will is being thwarted or you are not getting what you want, but the goddess knows what she's doing. Her actions will benefit you. Trust. So this is about the, this cycle and these cords here. And then um, under that, we've also got this Smashana Kali and it says, Life as you have known it will change radically, and this can be a welcome release. Kali is not quiet and subdued in the cremation grounds. She is wild and vital, right? Um, whoop. Kali brings energy and aliveness to situations where there would otherwise be none. She brings an end to stagnation that has been depleting your life force. So this is this cycle that you've been stuck in, my Gemini. And I feel like there's been shakeups happening, and this is the universe sort of shaking things up so you will go. Um, so really, um, following your higher guidance here, right? This is a, a very clear message here. This is a very clear message. This is um, sort of letting your pride and ego take the back seat and allowing life 
um, and this situation to really teach you something, to really learn the lesson, to really let go of your ego self and the self that um, you take yourself to be and really ask the universe, you know, why is this happening? And if it is trying to move me from the situation, then let's do it. And why, you know, um, resourcefulness, experiencing life as it comes and then the wheel of fortune right so this is a big change i feel like some of my gemini's are actually making this decision to get on to move on and for that i'm so so proud of you we got the closing door this is also number five mars energy this is tower energy like a big shake up a breakup um a fight um something like that an argument right a falling out um, and again, we've got, and then I see, I can't really make this stuff up guys. One of the, these cards fell out and I was just talking about that ego death. And this is really, um, this ego death, really, really letting the universe do what it does. Trusting that the universe is guiding you to where you need to be and, um, sort of letting go, letting up a little bit of control, loosening your grip a little bit, and then taking this action that you're, you're being guided to take my beautiful Gemini. So um, that is what I have for you. Uh, I hope this resonated. I hope it helped in some way. I'm getting used to this new setup with the camera and the microphone and stuff. So excuse me if I'm a little all over the place. Um, like I said, if you want to book a personal with me, that information will be in the description box below. I would appreciate it a ton if you show some love and hit that thumbs up. Drop me in a comment, drop me an emoji or something like that to let me know all is well. Let me know you are good. Um, and I hope to see you on the next reading.